Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Afterburner 3 on the Sega Mega CD, released by Sega in 1993. Look at this. That looks absolutely terrible. But listen to him big it up. Yeah, kind of cool though. I do like these old school cinematics. Although you would think since this is on the Mega CD, they could have had like a, I don't know, a really snappy animated intro, like proper animated, like cartoons and, and stuff. Because if you wait for it, in a minute, you're going to see the worst animation Ever. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's ignore that. I didn't know this was a thing uh, until um, the other day when I found it in the section uh, of the Mega CD section of games on my modded Xbox. Sorry, I had to pause for that dramatic bit there. Yeah, me and my F14 were going to be unstoppable. Anyway, yeah, so it's this is where it's weird. From what I understand is there was no Afterburner 3 in the arcades. Look at this. Animation much? Not? Yeah, there was, and this is, I don't know, an emulation thing. There was no Afterburner 3 in the arcades. This is called Afterburner 3 on the uh, Mega CD or Sega CD. I don't even know if it got a power release. But it's a port of an arcade machine that was released in 1991 called Strike Fighter. And it was only available in Japanese arcades, or so, uh, you know, I understand. Should have probably done the gameplay of that first, because I have it in main. Anyway, yeah, so the home port of that is this. And that in itself is a sequel to G-Lock, which is nothing to do with Afterburner apart from heavily inspired by it. And even in the arcade version of Strike Fighter, I still think that G-Lock, even though it's sprite scaling, Strike Fighter is a combination of it. Is it a little bit polygons and some scaling? I don't know, but G-Lock looks far more impressive. Anyway, ignore all that. Let's get into it. Right, now I'll say this. Uh, right, we'll do start. My biggest problem with this, if just watching the demos and stuff, is... Oh, different title screen. No, that's not the problem. Is right. You, you have the complete lack of crap on the floor. You know, even on the Mega Drive, you know, after Burner 2 had like more shit going on on the floor. Right, so what have we got? Control type, we'll go with easy because talking and shit. There we go. Uh, rolling mode free. I have no idea what that does. Six button pad, oh, it's a six button pad. I've got to work out what the shit is mapped to what on my Xbox pad. Anyway, yeah. Let's get into it. So obviously they just thought they'd cash in on the name. If you had this back in the day, let me know what you think. I mean, I love Afterburner in the arcades. But the home ports, with the exception of PC Engine, weren't that much bother. Right, speed down, Afterburner missile Vulcan gun. Speed down. So how do I speed up? Best intention? See, I don't know if that's a polygon or that's sprites. But this is pretty much as good as the ground graphics get. Right. Oh, and listen to the really uneventful voice acting when I'm excited and go, woo! Good luck. Otherwise known as covering up a loading time with air noise. There we go. Yeah, also don't like the in cockpit view. Self centering. Apart from that. Right, so that's Nissar. That's Vulcan. Which seems to do nothing. And that's Accelerate. See what I mean? Look at the floor. It's like... Ugh. It's as plain as a Bulgarian pinup. Points for the quotes. Ooh. The music's epic though, but then you'd expect that from a CD, wouldn't you? I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, I don't know, sprite scalers on the Mega CD. I mean, you've only got to look at... Oh, fuck. I wasn't looking at that as well, and not look at that. You've only got to look at, you know, Batman... Um, returns to see how good the machine was at sprite scaling to some degree the sonic levels as well. Oh, there we go, we just rotate. I can think I'm going to be sick. There we go, so I'll be. Woo! How do I avoid the missiles then? God, you're not going to see. Fuck all. I apologise. Woo! Fucking hell. Someone's got some beans? Alright. Oh, 
Stage three? I don't recall getting to stage two. Oh, this means I got some on my ass. And then it goes back in. How do we... There we go. You, you go in automatically when you, you break the lock, which I'm really not sure how you do. So when are we going to attack the floor? Because the, the whole point is, oh, bullet holes. Um, yeah, the whole point is they're building, I don't know, air stations in the desert. Fuck. So we've got to take them out, and then... Whew, uh, and then, as the big macho man at the start says, but if you can take down some of their fighters, more the better for it. Stage four. My god, I'm fucking through stages. Man, being the voice actor on this game must have been the sweetest paycheck ever. You only say, like, two things. Woo! And fire. See? Oh, we've got trees! Maybe the, the lack of stuff before was because we were in a desert. That scrolling is making my eyes itch. In particular, my left eye. Not sure why I felt we so I'm terrible at this. There's obviously, I should have probably read something. There's obviously... Oh, look, I'm upside down. Some sort of trick to avoiding the missiles other than just trying to be somewhere else. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Like, like get the ground completely out of sight. Here we go. Fuck. I don't even know what I hit. And I've already got bullet holes. Oh shit. This is weak. It feels almost as if the, the sprite scaling, because obviously... Well no, it is sprite scaling on the Mega CD, but not on the Mega Drive. But it feels like some games on the Mega Drive seem to do a better job of like these towers and shit. I.e. more frames of animation, I guess. Where's the base? Fuck. Where's my face? This is the poorest gameplay ever. But as I always say, a quick and very poor gameplay. Never said I was a pro. Just want to give you a little flavour. Ooh. They got Vulcans too up there. Can I shoot the towers? Oh, right. Okay, I don't know. Now, please don't tell me that's supposed to be a city. That's absolutely fucking awful. Holy cow. It looks like I'm flying over birdside potato waffles. There's a button you have to turn off to... Like, why am I so... I, I can't actually seem to do anything other than rotate. That's kind of cool. I might have to do a gameplay of the arcade. So you can see what it compares like. Is it just me or these guns are absolutely useless? God, I must have done something. It feels like it's on rails now. Do you know what? This this is a... I wanted to show it to you because I, I don't know people I wasn't aware that there was, you know. Oh, fuck. An afterburner 3. Well, technically there isn't, but yeah. I, uh... I gotta say it's a disappointment. I, why didn't they go the route, of, whether it's a port of an arcade machine or not, why didn't they just break out the Afterburner title and make their own game, taking advantage of the sprite scaling, but using, like, I don't know, the view of the original well, Afterburner 2? I'm going to call it quits there. Afterburner 3 on the Sega Mega... Hey, I'm alive! Who knew? On the Sega Mega CD. Disappointing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.